Man said, <laughs> 40, 40, 40, 40 bags. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, when you said that, I was like, it's two grand. But I five bags. Um, so, all right, let's just get on to. Mm. So, last time you were here, you spoke about your books. Again, self made, the business survival. We've got two kit. more coming out, yeah. I can see Pitch It Rich. Yeah. And I can see a skincare line. Yeah. So, let's maybe talk about. I don't know if you want to reintroduce the books again, just for people, um, the ones that we spoke about already, mm. and then speak about the new book, the new book's coming, and then the, the skincare range. You talk about the existing, I'll talk about the new. Cool, so we've got so we've got two books, so Self-Made, A Definitive Guide to Business Startup Success, so it's uh, kind of a pocket mentoring experience, taking you step-by-step step through the journey of starting, growing, and scaling a business, and it's a number one best-selling book which resulted in us starting our mentoring community. So for the last five years, we've mentored entrepreneurs, over 500 entrepreneurs to help them to get to six and seven figures, typically. Um, and then during the pandemic, we actually wrote the second book, The Business Survival Kit, because it was a time where I think people were struggling with the survival uh, opportunities. We had basically instructed people on how to build a successful business and make money, but I hadn't thought about all the other things that would impact that journey. So imposter syndrome, confidence, um, goal setting, finances, how to manage a romantic relationship when you're in lockdown with your partner 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> so all of that went into the Business Survival Kit and that's a Sunday Times best-selling book. So that's our two so far. And we've just signed, a, well, just last year, we signed a two-book deal. I'll let you talk about the new book. Yeah, we signed a two-book deal with Hashit, second largest publisher in the world. It's interesting because uh, they didn't even, they said, we don't care about the second book, what you're going to write. But the, the first book we're going to write with them is about money and finance. And uh, the book that we want it to be called, cool, it's not been confirmed yet, but we think, should we go could say the name? Yeah, it? yeah. So. Rich Forever, that's the, that's the book title. What they didn't teach about money and finance in school, just talking about money and finance because it's a question that gets asked all the time. What do I do with my 5K? What about my credit? Blah, blah, blah. So that'll be coming out this year. We are on the final couple of chapters now to finishing that. You've got a rough month? Or it'll be October. Okay, cool. It'll be October next year. Or this year. October this but year. But also covering how you build that generational wealth. Yes. I think, unfortunately, in our community, we have a lot of people who are able to make money, yeah. but have not thought about how they invest that money for the future yeah. or making sure they have life insurance, a will, and all those things. Yeah. So how do you ensure that the money you're, you're working so hard for now is actually going to be able to last you until you retire, or until you die, and yeah. then to, on to the next generation? Absolutely. Because so. those direct debits are not that expensive to have protection for yourself, for your family. Yeah. You know, you, everyone's going to die. Yeah. Why are you not protected? It, you know so that legacy money talk about that legacy money so that goes into the next book and then we haven't decided what we're doing for the fourth book yeah but uh it's you know whatever we signed the contract we're happy to do it mm -hmm. um then we got the game the game oh that's what picture which is a, is a picture game, which is oh, a game. Okay, okay. we're gonna leave it for you guys um and uh, it, it's it, that's a prototype it's a at prototype the moment. at the moment um, because we've played it a few times and there's like some tiny tweaks. We like to put our products that we're proud of and stuff like that. So there's some tiny tweaks we're going to make, but it's like a pitching game, essentially. Um, when so kind of think Monopoly, but for entrepreneurship, yeah. just at home. How do you, you know, learn all the things you need to know about business and the, the definitions, but also pitching and, and, and all of that good stuff. So it's a really fun game. And then we've got high-end skin. And then we've got the skincare that. collection. So yeah, essentially I did um, a campaign with Fiverr. So I don't know if you've heard of Fiverr, but it's like a marketplace for yeah, freelancers. Yeah. Anyway, so I did a campaign with them to uh, build a business from scratch in six months. And so that's what I did. So I built this skincare brand, High End Skin, from scratch in six months. And essentially it's a brand that helps with hyperpigmentation, dry skin, excess oil, it just rebalances and readdresses your skin, but also it's made from all natural ingredients. So I've struggled with my skin since I was about 14. And so I tried all these different products, I spent thousands on products and estheticians and facialists and stuff and just not worked or not work consistently. So I wanted to bring out a brand that actually works. So it's three steps because I, I, I hate those Instagram 18 step solutions. Like yeah. I hear it tells you you've got a five step solution. That's incredible. But people who've got time to do 20 step solutions, I just don't get it. So it's three simple steps, a wash, a serum and a cream day and night. And it works, and the results have been phenomenal. So you, so you use it. So you use it twice a day, basically. Twice so a day, first yeah. thing in the morning, and before you go to bed. Before you go to so bed. Which is which? So you got the the wash. This is the cleansing wash. Yeah. So you just use that. Just wash your face the same as usual. And then we've got the um, the serum. So the serum is an incredible product. This is Byron's favorite product, but so it's a renewal serum. So basically, it's just a yeah. little prepare. 
you just wind it off and it's just a really nice um, oil but it's got some really great ingredients in it like squalene which is known as a hydrator so it helps to rehydrate you okay. uh, and make sure your skin you know feels nice and, and supple and moisturized and then we've got collagen it's a collagen vibrancy cream now most people think about collagen from like if it would be honest like white people talk about collagen most often about wrinkles but actually if you think about it if you have issues with texture in your skin or acne or spots or just just um, imbalances you need this to plump your skin back up okay. and to make you look better so that's what the final solution is so three steps to great skin and by you know way, you, said yeah. you started a business from scratch in six yeah. months I, how did like how did you scale that in terms of was there like a budget that you're like you know what I can't go above this budget how did you can you maybe just yeah of course let people know like mm. how the, the steps you took well. yeah because yeah, like, that, that's actually it's sick because yeah. it seems like you just literally just said no, I don't want to say like not in the rudy, but it's like I'm just gonna do this in six months. Yeah, like not yeah. not like no, that, no, but no, as in like. Yeah. But you but you've implemented it to, to, to a level. Of... Yeah, I'll start it. I'll start it off. So so I manage a lot of Bianca speaking inquiries. Okay. So all the corporate type of uh, deals that come in, Fiverr approached where their branding agency came and said, or their agency there came to me and said they want to do a deal with Bianca for something. We went back and forth for a couple of weeks and we were like, okay, this is what we're going to be doing. They pitched it to Fiverr. Fiverr didn't like it. And they were like, the deal's off. It's not happening. Cool. We went about our merry way. Bianca now said, uh-uh-uh. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. She repackaged what she, or what she wants to do and pitched it to the agency to pitch it to Fiverr. And Fiverr was like, we love it. We want to do this with you. So that's how it started. And now she's, if you go on Fiverr's website, YouTube, she's everywhere. And then you can tell the story about... Yeah, so I shared the journey basically with weekly or, or bi-weekly videos of the journey from idea all the way to reality. So six months of... And we're st still not finished on the series, but six months of me going from idea to doing the website, to do the branding, to getting the product, to sourcing... On YouTube? It on, YouTube? on YouTube, yeah, okay. on my YouTube channel. Um, just showing the whole journey because people don't share it. If we're honest, yeah. people don't like to share how they made it happen. Yeah. And so I decided I was going to do everything. it for fulfillment, how the posting, the, all of that stuff, like social media, how to get it on YouTube, how to do the ad campaign for Google. So I shared the whole journey um, there. And so it was six months. Um, I don't know where this comes out, but essentially I announced that we're three months into the brand and we did 55K in three months. So it's just a, like an illustration of my journey. The idea was to do 100K in six months. That was my goal. Yeah. So we've done 55K in three months. So we're on target. Mm -hmm. But that's, you know, six months to do what most people take two to three years to yeah, create, yeah, if yeah. I'm honest. But yeah. I was filming it and it's been an interesting journey. Yeah, it's been stressful. I won't lie it's been to you. stressful. <laughs> managing and managing that many people, like, because she's got so many different, like, freelancers from the logo to the website to the SEO to the content creation, all of that stuff has been an interesting. So, so like although 40 it's, different Fiverr experts, yeah. freelancers. Like, managing all of those people. But how do you manage your time in general? Because, like, you've got, so you've got this now. Yeah. You've got the mentoring. Book, you've got mentoring. You've got the books. You've got buying um, property. We're living half in here, half so, in the UK. So We've got how, loads of projects. So how do you like? I don't know. How, how do you juggle it? It's a great it? question. A great and question. I, I wonder that sometimes yeah. myself. <laughs> We're good at delegating first of all, but also like you know, like even like we have a housekeeper like to help us at home because we're great at working. Yeah. We'll wake up in the morning, go and shower, brush our teeth, and go to work. Yeah. Like we we're not good at that, so we need support from in those different areas but we make it work and you know we, we live a great lifestyle life and put the hours in but, but I think it it's also about being clear about what your priorities every day yeah. like in, in our second book we have a, like a goal setting chapter so I'm clear about what my goals are going to mm, be I'm teaching and that then today. I'm clear about the actions that I need to deliver as a result so on a daily basis it's writing that to-do list put it in order of priority and knowing what you need to get done every day because yeah. otherwise the day runs away yeah, you've not done yeah, anything yeah. Yeah. So, to do you do it the day before as in so today is what she, in an ideal world, yeah, I would do it the night before for the next day. But realistically, yeah. sometimes it's yeah. in the morning. Like it's not, you know, in an ideal world, you do it the night before, so you know what your day will be the next day. But yeah. sometimes how we how we manage yeah. it. But you all have businesses, so okay. how do you manage your time? Because I think people think it's this weird like miracle that we created. And we all have to manage different responsibilities. Whether you're an entrepreneur or you have a career, that you have so many things you have to do each day. Do you know? Is I feel like we have, but you use a lot have much more <laughs> like that's what that's what yeah, it's, yeah. for me it's kind of like 
uh, if you, if, for example, if you were just like, oh, I'm a proper, um, we just do properties, I wouldn't really ask you how you manage your time. How you manage your time? Because in my mind, I'm thinking it's you just got a system in place, but yeah. because you do so many different things, yeah, yeah, you do property. Yeah. You, you, you just literally just said that. Remember, if you're doing a skincare line mm-hmm. in six months, you've had to invest a lot of time yeah. and focus into that. Mm-hmm. So that means focus might have been taken away from something Other else. Yeah, yeah. So is yeah. that, has it suffered or has it? You've put something in place to make sure that she had to it sit me didn't. down the other day. She took me to dinner. I said, "Listen, B, you coming up with too many things, too many crazy ideas." She said, took me to dinner, you know. I said to you. You and to she, had, she had to have a meeting. She goes, oh, "We'll talk about it at dinner." That's because never you kept happened coming up with before. new ideas. Because no, we're doing a Guinness World back. Record in October for the See? largest networking event the world's ever seen. Oh, you were saying that in Dubai? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's confirmed. It's done. Oh, we'll Organise the space. Blah blah. blah. So I'm just always hitting her with new things. I'm like, yeah, we're doing the birthday gala, 300 people. So that's on Saturday coming. And she's like, hey, just relax. Mm-hmm. Like, relax. Mm-hmm. No, because I'm, look, if you marry an entrepreneur, you need to know that they're always gonna have new ideas every morning and that's okay, I'm okay with that. But sometimes these new ideas impact <laughs> my schedule. And yeah, nice impacting I'm okay with her. that, but right now, no, it always impacts yeah, me. Yeah, nice but right her. now I have my own projects that I need to focus mm-hmm. on. And so it is about sometimes yeah. just re- having that, again, communication is so important having that opportunity to say, listen, right now, I can't take anything else on. So if you want to add more things to our plate, that's fine, but you need to take it. I can't do it as well. But that conversation has to happen. I think, uh, so to add, Bianca was secured. She secured a a client in in the UAE, a major client, like billionaire, right? So I think it's because of that person (laughs) where you want to put so much energy into them which is why now you're like, I mean, I'm a massive billionaire client. Yeah. Boy, I, I hear it. <laughs> so I'm like, like I, I, you, you ain't got to tell me nothing else. <laughs> I'm a massive billionaire. They're billionaire. a billionaire. I'm involved too. What's what we did? <laughs> see, see, that's see. Look at that energy yeah, right there, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, soft, 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 in business, there's ups and downs and times mm. where you have to focus or readdress your focus and your energy. Mm. And you can't, you know, you only have so much energy, right? So you have to think, okay, what am I going to focus on? We're writing the book. Obviously, I've got the skincare brand. I've got the the YouTube series. I've got my normal clients, the Googles, the HSBCs and stuff to manage. My yeah, diary you're is gonna be busy. Packed. You're flying yeah. out this month? I'm flying out this month to the US for the, for the Dubai client. Like, lots of things happening. So it has to be about that communication between us as a couple but also as a as business partners and yeah. co-investors we have to say okay what can we do right now and who does what and it's and not for answer. us to be on every Listen, meeting we, we're watching we're multitasking watching tv oh, yeah, till 1am oh, yeah, yeah, whilst yeah. working oh yeah we have a great so. social life i don't want anyone to think oh they just work like someone said on youtube the other day i swear this couple they're just in business just for business sake they're not actually romantic like we do more like, than they do we do in, we're in, always in, hanging out in there's week. always someone there's always someone. Hey, there's always someone trolling but yeah. it's part of the game yeah, it's funny yeah, though because yeah. i read it i was like <laughs> i wouldn't even call it trolling i think it's projecting sometimes because i think people think if i was like if i was in this situation it would be because of this this and this. yeah sure and they're like well we're not you you don't yeah, know yeah. you don't know no uae billionaires man <laughs> exactly <laughs> stay we over know, there, we know four now four come on four whore Skincare's only got two steps in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one step. <laughs> they got one step. <laughs> one step. Yeah. We're not the same. Right? Dove, Dove, Dove soap and rag. <laughs> Dove soap and yeah, rag. That's you know. it. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking time out. Your no, busy schedule. Pleasure. I'm going to go and teach now. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, you did I'm say go that. Gym. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go teach. That's, so that's it's going to be fun. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank we you. appreciate you coming through, man. Um, is there anything else that you want to? Let people know where they can find you. Um, yeah, across across the socials, uh, I think you know Bianca Miller official, Miss uh, Doctor Byron Cole at Mr B Self Made is his handle. You changed it, yeah. but uh, no, I haven't changed it yet. I'm keeping it safe. Just message us. No, we we actually genuinely respond to DMs. So yeah. if you want, you have questions about your business, about mentoring, about your skincare, about whatever it is, just message us because I think in this world, you know, for us, legacy is helping other people to achieve their goals. Mm-hmm. It's not mm-hmm. just about mm-hmm. the money. Um, the money is <laughs> the money. The money is an important factor in anyone's life, but for us, it's about helping other people as well. And you know, we're proud to say we've helped over 500 people to achieve that's their goals. Right, yeah, yeah. And the number of millionaires we've made, like, you know, that's something that I'm really Real proud life. of. And yeah. you know, it's a, I think the problem is that there's so many charlatans out there. There's so many people that like, 
or talk a good game mm. and will say, yeah, I can get you to, like, even for example, with crypto. <laughs> and everyone was talking about crypto and that like, I can mm. make you money. Or even there's always a scheme, a, a pyramid scheme. So I feel like a lot of people, for example, like if you come on a podcast and you're talking, some people are like, oh, it sounds too good to be true. Because there's so many people out there that, that um, take advantage of yeah. people's yeah, yeah. Um, hope mm-hmm. and yeah. optimism. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like with you guys, that's why we support. Mm. And whenever you want to come on, or we always say, yeah, because... We know that the proof in the pudding, you're yeah. doing what you say you do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, There's no sharky business. There's mm. no underhanded stuff. It's, it's real. 